What's up, Adrenaline Junkies? Um, I got a great workout here. It's an excellent video showing you ways you can work out in the park. Um, everyone's got a park near their house. If it doesn't have a hill, you can do these on flat land. All right, so here's some of our junkies in our class. I'm following this group of three around. Right now they're doing lunges up and down the hill with the weights over their head. But having weights overhead, it gets your heart rate going more. Okay, so you're gonna burn more calories. Okay, lunges down the hill are a little advanced. So you gotta be careful, you got a good wide step. If you're not comfortable doing them, you can go down backwards, but take it slow. It's not a steep decline. All right, next one here, we're running. Okay, so they just have a sandbag. It's about 20 pounds up and down the hill. Some of the sandbags weigh more than others. You can set yours at whatever weight you want, or you could just hold weights, okay? So just sprinting up the hill, hard, hard, hard. Even faster than he's doing. <laughs> so you're going up the hill, down the hill, then turn and come right back up and down again. Here she comes, look, she's got the heavier bag. Robbie gave her the heavier bag there. <laughs> Melissa, she's doing a great job. She kicks butt in class every single time. Okay, so pushing that weight down, making it that much harder. This is a great one. You, okay, you go down, you do a plank, you walk it up to your squat, you stay low, you hop squat to the top of the mat, pop it out, down to a plank, up, and so on. And you just keep going, okay? Always keeping that back nice and straight. She's down on her plank, she walks it up. Okay, little hops back up, low little squat hops, okay? Your heart rate's going, you're working your legs, you're working your core. Okay, tire pulls are next, you can see them doing back there. All right, you can use one tire, you can use two tires, you can go forwards, you can go backwards. Backwards, you're gonna work the back of your legs a little bit more. Everyone's got a spare tire around, you throw a rope on it and you can run it in your yard, park, whatever. It's a great way to kick up the cardio. All right, you can have your kids sit in the tire, make it harder. Backwards, you really feel it in a different spot, right in your butt and legs. Okay, try this one out. Can't stop, you gotta just push, push, push through. We're going a minute, minute and a half each station, okay? These are bench hop overs, so you just, on a bench or a step, or if you don't have anything, you still do them on the ground, just hold the ground and jump from side to side fast. This just kicks it up a bit, all right? Works your core, um, you're feeling your shoulders. As you can see Rob here, Robbie kicks it up with one leg, it makes it just that much harder. You have to be careful though, you slide along there, you're gonna scrape your shin from top to bottom. Doesn't feel good. <laughs> it's hard though, like you can see they're tired, okay? It's, get your heart rate going this one. Especially this bench is pretty high. But ideally you wanna go, go, go. Touch, 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 as fast as you can. Okay, bear climbs. Up the hill and then down the hill. See how they're going up? Now Robbie's on his way down. Same kind of thing. You want to move fast. All right. It's all about functional type movements, um, using your body weight, all different ways to kick up your training, okay? And just be doing the same old thing. You can do this on flat land. We do these a lot on flat land from pylon to pylon. Um, but on a hill is awesome. Feels really good. It's kind of almost easier because you're not reaching down as far, but you feel it a lot different from going up than when you go down. And ideal, you want to go as fast as you can. Okay, a little upper body. So here we're just going on a couple uh, raises laterally, and then you'll go do them to the front, and then you'll do them overhead. I think we're going four, four, four. So four to the front, four to the side, four to the front. Uh, overhead, sorry. So that's it, that's, you know, you set up a little thing in the park, you can go with, you know, a friend or a family member, set up a couple little stations and you work through one, two minute at a time. Interval training is the best. Get on it if you're not doing it, okay? It's easy to do and it's a lot of fun. Keeps things fresh. All right guys, have a great day and I'll be back with you tomorrow. Bye.